Hello, buddy, and welcome to Hitman 2. We've recently done Hitman 3 and Hitman 1 after that. Now we're on Hitman 2 to complete the trilogy by beating the middle one. So how many, uh, how many ones do we have here? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that's the most out of all these. All right, night call. I think I remember this one. All right, uh, find a way to infiltrate the house where Alma Rain Reynard is hiding. Is there like no beginning cutscene? Lockpick, can I smuggle anything in? No. Uh, I might as well go in the wetsuit. Okay. We left off one with Providence offering to pay ICA to hunt down the Shadow Client. Like, work together. Because the Shadow Client was using ICA to take down Providence members. The story so far. Ah, here you go. 47 and his handler, Diana Burnwood, are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. When all of their recent missions turn out to be contracts for a shadow client, things take an unexpected turn. All their targets have been operatives in an invisible organization known as Providence. Providence has infiltrated the highest echelons of power and secretly owns our world. The shadow client wages a silent war against them. And so the constant, Providence's enigmatic controller, seeks Diana out. His request, track down and eliminate the Shadow Client. In return, he offers something irresistible. The truth of 47's lost origins. Neither know that the man they hunt is 47's childhood friend. And unlike 47, he remembers everything. Hitman 2. I think this is the one I haven't fully played through. I played through one so long ago that I didn't remember it. Recently went through three. I think I had like two missions in the two and then I stopped. I don't know why. Look at those back muscles. Okay. Hawks Bay, New Zealand, night call. At the location. No hostile presence. I think this is like another tutorial. House is just up the beach. Like level. Our intel indicates that she and her team are laying low, most likely planning the militia's next strike. Reynard is one of the Shadow Client's top lieutenants, and yet she's not a target. Is anyone in the house? I don't remember. She's no doubt high on our client's list, but for now, <coughs> it's information we seek. Infiltrate the house and get us only six locations. Up for some B and E, forty-seven. On my way. All right, so she's got. In <clears throat> oh, my throat's clogged. She's got info on the shadow clients. Are there people here? <laughs> Good job. Good aim. Now, according to the local home security provider, the house is equipped with multiple cameras placed around the perimeter. I suggest you get rid of them, 47. Get rid of what? Sorry, I wasn't listening. No one's here, right? No, not yet. I could probably set some stuff up, because I think people come eventually. Search the house for intel on the shadow clients. Something to do with me? Militia operation reports. Operations report operations reports on every major militia strike going back to Thomas Cross kidnapping, Berlin, Shanghai, the murder of the shipping muggle Rex Larson in Montreal just a few days ago. Looks like Reynard had a hand in all of them. Looks like research reports. Berlin, Shanghai. 
Every major malicious strike since Thomas Cross's kidnapping. Looks like Reynard had a hand in all of them. All in the past, I'm afraid. Keep looking, 47. Okay. I also really want to try and use less of this vision. Is that a phone here? Ventilation, huh? Oh, how much do I weigh? <laughs> 47 pounds. That's awesome. Uh, scissors. At 47 pounds, he's a light man. No wonder people can barely see him. He's light as a feather. Bodies. Hello. Early 30s. Executed. I see them. Oh, poor bastards. Looks like Reynard's grisly handiwork, all right. She was never shy about collateral damage. The owners? Don't think so. The house Ooh, is registered to a non existing environmental NGO. This feels more like identity theft. Like you, Reynard is known to use disguises. Hmm. Keep looking, 47. Nothing we can do for these people now. Can I take one of these bikes to escape? <laughs> Just 47 going on a bike. Gotta get out of here. Okay, uh... Nope, thought that was a door. Ooh, upstairs. So many locked doors. People are smart. Yeah. Forty-seven. Computer. That computer. See if you can't access it. Encrypted. Hmm. Assuming there's a key, Reynard wouldn't just leave it lying around. Missing dongle. Wait. According to the floor plan, the room you're in should be a lot bigger. There might be a concealed space behind the wall. Check for hidden panels. Forty-seven. Aha. Uh -huh. Thought so. Ho, ho, ho. This should be interesting. I'll be with you in a minute, Diana. <laughs> I gotta gear up. Covert. A tranquilizer. Some grenades. These are too big. I'll take that. Oh, dongle. Here we go. And a lockpick. The office computer, no doubt. Destroy this. <clears throat> Nicely done, 47. Should allow you to move more freely. Kidnapping plan? Who are they kidnapping? Hmm. Appears Reynard's cell is launching another strike. Those are well, maps of a residential area. Why is the lockpick just here? Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. Our priority is the shadow client. Ah. All right, before I put the password in, I want to check around. Continue checking out this top floor. What? <laughs> Squeak toy. Don't tread on me. Should I move the webcam? It's blocking up that stuff all the time. Nah, it's fine. I'll just repeat what it says. Even with all the stuff I just picked up, it's still 47 pounds. I think your scales are broken. That is terrifying. Uh, anything useful? Why are so many squeak toys? Do you have a dog? Found something. A file. A file on Rupert Pierce, founder of Dynasty Global, the world's largest internet retailer. 
If Pierce is a Providence operative, he's, he undoubtedly ranks high in the militia's hit list. Pierce is based in London, so he cannot be Rarid's immediate target. However, his VP Lance Donovan, his VP Lance Donovan, is from nearby Wellington, and his brother is the New Zealand Prime Minister. I'm Rupert Pierce, founder of Dynasty Global, the world's largest internet retailer. Hmm. If Pierce is a Providence operative, he's likely on the Shadow Client's hit list. That's just but sedative. It's not what we came for. Keep looking, forty-seven. Okay, is that everything? Is something? Can I take the sunglasses? Hmm. All right, I think that's mostly everything checked. There's still one place I haven't been. Second floor. Oh, the roof. How do I get on the roof? Here we go. Discover Hawks Bay. Is there anything up here I can do? Ooh. <gasps> Panic room. Hmm. Interesting. Can I open this? <clears throat> Ooh. Hopefully no one notices. Uh. What's that? Bathroom ventilation. Okay, let's uh, put the dongle in. I think this triggers people to come. Detecting movement up the road. Yep. Motorcade, possibly Reynards. Uploading the data. Hold on. Receiving it now. Hmm. Nothing on the Shadow Client or the other cells. No names, no aliases. I doubt she even knows whom she's working for. Wait, here's something. A message from Robert Knox of Kronstadt Industries. And by the sound of it, he's a Providence operative. A defector. Well, well, well. Client won't like this one bit. And you can't wait to tell him. They're back. Multiple hostiles. I see them. That's a lot of people. Okay, we've got all we're going to get. Go to stage two, forty-seven. Eliminate Reynard, and preferably without raising suspicion. One step ahead of the shadow client for once. Let's keep it that way. Ugh, I thought this night would never end. What a snob fest. And I even missed out on the action. Oh, I'm sorry you had to endure all that free champagne and cello music, Orson. What can I say? You really took one for the yeah, team. Well, I say stick to what you know. Okay. Garage door open. Did I do that? Oh, there's everyone's here. I just have to eliminate her. I can get out. Who's that guy? Maximilian. Here, boy. Oh, they do have a dog. Where was it? There's no dog here. I took it squeak toys. I could easily just shoot her now and leave. I don't know if that will cause suspicion. Should probably get one of these outfits. <laughs> I got so much shit already. Got him. 
Uh, where can I hide you? All right, Camille. Is that the only outfit? Can I hide this somewhere? I can't really carry it and the sword around. Put it out on the balcony. And these people are good at their jobs. And your wife and children go free, unharmed. Refuse or hesitate. And your family dies. Attempt to signal or warn anybody. And your family dies. Do we have terms? Oh, I could get her. Not very convincing, Mr. Donovan. Take a deep breath and <clears throat> Oh, the guy I just read the file about? You will take the stairs up to the rooftop helipad where your boss, Rupert Pierce, is taking his morning jog. You will inform his guards that you are delivering an urgent message. You will approach Mr. Pierce. I think this guy's by himself. I was going down. Hey, you want green tea or mango? What do you think? You heard me. What is that? Donovan. The life of your boss Key? for the life of your wife and daughters. Shouldn't be much of a choice, even for a workaholic. Do you understand me? I know I could just take her out right now, but I do want to see if I can kill her without anyone noticing. Now go. If I don't hear sirens from downtown London in five minutes. Your family suffers the consequences. Best of luck, Mr. Donovan. What a hardcore bitch. Is it done? Good as. And Mr. Donovan's oh. wife and children? The guys will let them go at the stroke of midnight, unless I say otherwise. Boss is ordered. You know how squeamish he gets about collateral damage. Who's the boss? The shadow client? Do you eventually leave the kitchen? There's so many guys guarding it except this guy. Unbelievable. Can I get him up here? Oh. Can you just go and check it out? Copy that. You gotta be kidding me. She coming up? Yep. Yeah. My coin. <laughs> nope, that guy's coming too. Coming with me, buddy. Eh, I'll just leave you out here. How should I get her? The sword? Oh, hello. Is that you, Babylon? Wearing lifts or something, you seem taller. Target. Oh, well done, 47. Now get off the property. Can hide her in here. Okay, time to leave. You guards are doing a very good job, very self aware. Uh, where's the exit? Okay. This place is literally littered with cards. Alright, just play cool. Only a couple can recognize you. Actually, a lot, all of them can somehow recognize you. The Mercs have discovered your boat, 47. They're on high alert. Combing the beach for intruders. 
proceed with caution. That's probably why. My throat is still clogged. them unnoticed. I suggest you cause a distraction, 47, and make it a loud one. Ah. It's in the truck. Knock it off. Nobody's fault. Uh. Oh, those are flares. I probably shoot the gas can. Sure, no one's looking. Fireworks. Maybe flares. I don't know. I think they're flares. Did they leave? What? <laughs> Keep the sword. Okay. Easy as that. That took 20 minutes. You know, I was really shitting around most of the time. I guess it was a tutorial level. Infiltrator. Complete night call. Yeah, not a whole lot here. Oh, there's actually a lot of stuff I didn't get. Okay. What's next? Actually, I'm going to go back and do that mission again, just to see what the other challenges are. Wellington, New Zealand. Starting to remember. What is this like stop motion stuff? It's official. New Zealand paid off. The client has given us carte blanche. Hunt down the militia by any means necessary. A week ago, Providence was a threat. How did you swing the board? The board are practical people, 47. A blank check is hard to turn down. Besides, the shadow client's war on Providence is causing a global panic. Someone need to stop the militia. Might as well be us. And the man on the train? You never told them about his offer. Taking a contract for personal gain is against ICA regulations. Sodas would have been proud. Is that a sense of humor, 47? Whatever next? Crying at the movies? Why are you doing this? I know what it's like to have everything taken from you. He claims to know about your past. Your he is childhood, sweating. Memories, everything Aunt Maya stole from you. And you trust him? About as far as I can throw him. But this is our best lead in 20 years. I say it's time we break a few rules. Oh, she at Ether? Okay. Where's the next one take place? The finish line. Don't know where, but it looks nice. Okay, let's replan this mission. Uh, did I even... I don't think I got anything. Did I start in the place? Shit. Nope. Uh, 
Here, let's change it up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. I'll take a look at the challenges, see what there is to do. Uh, no mission stories, I guess, because tutorial place. Uh, eliminate some people using only katanas or shurikens. Versatile assassin, headshot. No bodies, eliminate katana. Explosion. Do not pass fire, kill anyone else in the explosion. Drown them. Eliminate five cards with a shotgun. Accident kill. Pacify with the aquarium. Fiber wire. Dump them from above. Push someone in the pool. Scissors. Poison. Oh, she's in the panic room. Poisoned ventilation. Assassinate her while she... While Orson's in the shower. Assassinate her by poisoning her tea. Smother her with a pillow while she's sleeping. Find the driftwood weapon. Find the hidden house key. Was it on the table? Shoot her through the sky while she's sleeping. Spike Orson's whiskey with a lethal dose of poison. Was that in this level at all? Is there any poison? Assassinating with a kitchen knife while he's in the shower. And then, uh, the simples. Let me, uh, do one quick thing. Uh, since I know there's a lockpick in the place, I am gonna bring... Just a lethal, po lethal pills, because I don't know if there's any here. <laughs> Still in the clown suit. Okay, uh, I'll save when I get over there so I can just Understood. keep loading back and try some of the challenges. Is just up the beach. Our intel indicates that she and her team are laying low, most likely planning the militia's next strike. Reynard is one of the Shadow Clan's top lieutenants, and yet she's not a target. Not yet, anyway. She's no doubt high on our client's list, but for now, it's information we seek. Infiltrate the house and get us a lead on the Shadow Client. Up for some B&E, 47. On my way. How do I get in without a lockpick? I thought all of them were locked. Huh. What? Good aim. Now, according to the local home security provider, the house is equipped with multiple cameras placed around the perimeter. I suggest no you get cars. rid of them for they could be out. Could be lying low. The satellite scans are inconclusive. Only one way to find out, I'm afraid. What the hell? Is this where a car eventually comes? I can't walk that way. Uh, what is this? Unlock garage door. Missing screwdriver. Also, there's a hidden key somewhere. The bushes, maybe? This doesn't really matter, but whatever. Uh, are any of these accidentally opened? Nope. Pool's open. Nope, that's not. I'm just looking around to see if like there's a hidden rock or something. How do you get in? I think you could shoot the doors open. I don't know if that would fuck me over though, of like people saying like, he's here. Maybe not. Hmm. Uh, was well, there a screwdriver somewhere? Do I have to check this whole beach? No, the screwdriver has to be near the garage, right? 
Oh, what's that? Oh, is that the driftwood? Would you believe it? Yeah, screwdriver here. That's the that's the hitman rules. It has to be near the thing. Let's show me go all the way to the lighthouse. There's that little hut over there. I don't know if there's anything in there. <laughs> I know I said I wasn't gonna try and use this vision a lot, but come on. Hmm. You should be able to jimmy open the garage door with a proper tool. Why don't you search the pool area, forty-seven? Oh, thanks for telling me. Oh. I'm surprised 47 can't use this to pick, to unlock doors. It's a screwdriver and he is the world's best assassin. There we go. Hello, people. Male and female. Early 30s. Executed. I see them. All right, make sure I had poison on me. Looks like Reynard's grisly handiwork, all right. She was never shy about collateral damage. The owners? Don't think so. The house is registered to a non-existing environmental NGO. This feels more like identity theft. Like you, Reynard is known to use disguises. Hmm. Keep looking, 47. Nothing we can do for these people now. I'm just like going to see if there's poison here. Is rat poison? Apple. You go around and collect everything before I summon the people here. And now the kid, in, the key comes when they come. Poison vodka glass, honey, and sugar. Oh, I can poison his drink, right? Expired can of spaghetti sauce. Why does it have to be expired? I need the lockpick. Uh, let me go up there and get it. Uh, take that just in case. Dongle, lock pick, gun. No doubt. Nicely done, forty-seven. Getting caught on tape is the last thing we need. Where was that? Uh. Thing. A folding knife. Another gun. Where would the lethal poison be? I thought it'd be in there. Did she have it like any in her room? Squeak toy. Found something. Files. A file on Rupert Pierce, founder of Dynasty Global. The world's largest internet retailer. That is a squeak toy. Hmm. Oh. If Pierce is a Providence operative, he's likely on the Shadow Client's hit list. But it's there it is. Came for. Keep looking. Oh, Anna Cannabis. Can I use this? Uh. What's that? Oh, just sink. Okay, I think that's everything. Any of these I can... Was any of them poison? Explosion. How do you trigger an explosion? Unless you bring something in. Aquarium, pushing, pool, scissors. Oh, 
while she's in the sh while he's in the shower. So I have to wait. Poison her tea. Sugar, honey, honey. Smother her with a pillow. There's whiskey with a lethal dose. Okay, uh, let me save here. Where's this whiskey? Got two lethals, so let me do one in there. Actually, this is kind of pointless. I just want to eliminate her. I don't care about this guy. And, uh, I have, oh wait, shit. Her tea, I don't know which one it would... If it's poison or sugar? Or honey or sugar? Uh, let me go... Maybe he says like, What do you want with your tea, honey? I'm in. Keep it open so I can hear the dialogue. <laughs> Why the nose? He looks so unamused when he's wearing it. Alright. Keep talking. Don't talk about tea until I get down there. She wants honey. All right, let me just leave the sword here. How do I get down there without anyone seeing me? I will tell you exactly Don't do the honey yet. Wait for me. Refuse or hesitate. Honey, 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 honey. Lethal. Attempt to signal or warn anybody. <laughs> Go back to making honey, dude. Or tea. Tea with honey. Much better. Now, Was he suspicious of the honey or the of just seeing me? Your boss, Rupert Pierce, is taking his morning jog. You will inform his guards that you are delivering an urgent message. You will approach Mr. Pierce, lure him close to the edge, and toss him off the building. Hey, you want green tea or mango? Turn the camera. What do you think? You heard me, Mr. Donovan. The life of your boss for the life of your wife and daughters. Shouldn't be much of a choice, even for a workaholic. Do you understand me? Very good. Now go. If I don't hear sirens from there it is. London in five minutes, your family suffers the consequences. Best of luck, Mr. Donovan. Please thank you for your sacrifice. Is it done? Good as. And Mr. Donovan, drink the tea. The guys will drink go the tea. Of midnight, unless I say otherwise. Boss's orders. You know how squeamish he gets about collateral damage.
Get this on camera. Target down. Well done, 47. Now get off. Beautiful. The property. <laughs> okay, uh. Hello. Let me load back to, uh, there? Yeah. What? Okay, what about here? What? Let me exit? The fuck is going on? Uh, where are the loads? Let me try restarting it. <laughs> the fuck? Actually, wait, I should make sure. It says, uh... Like, I have access. Yeah? What? What the fuck are you talking about? Alright, I guess I'll just start a new one. Fuck you. Uh... When did I get a snowball? <laughs> eh, I'll just keep the poison there for now. Oh, can I start at least closer? I didn't lock it. Fuck. Have to collect uh, that though. Why the fuck would it let me load back? I was so stupid. All right. Get, oh, my clown costume. Reynard's house is just up the beach. Our intel indicates uh, that she already, already it's the worst level. <laughs> Most likely because of that one reason. Reynard is one of the shadow. I don't think it was the, the mission lol or the mission's fault. Not yet anyway. She's no doubt on the client's list. There is not. It's information we seek. Infiltrate the house and get us a lead on the shadow client. Uh, okay, I already poisoned her. Oh, it's going to kill her. I should wait until she goes upstairs because there's a lot of stuff there. Or maybe we should do, let me do the lockdown. Poison the ventilation. That's just shooting her. And in the shower, smother. For some B and E, forty-seven. Yeah, let me try and trigger the lockdown. I assume just kill a guard. Oh, also, uh, when I was playing uh, before, I was thinking like. In that one room with like the hidden wall. Wouldn't I have seen that on the mini map? But I don't think I don't have a mini map until I trigger the uh What am I thinking of the laptop? Until I trigger everyone coming in here. Good aim. Now, according Lock to pick. the local home security provider. 
The house is equipped with multiple cameras placed around the perimeter. I suggest you get rid of them, 47. What's in it? I don't remember. A knife and a gun. I don't think I need any of this stuff. Uh. Alright. I'll take the shurikens. And the silencer gun. Alright, dongle. Lockpick. First computer. Gun. Nicely done, 47. Save right here. I just want to test it. That was so weird. Getting caught on tape is the last thing we need. Oh, now I have my mini map. <laughs> I'm in. And uh, now I have a yellow bar on the mini map. Okay, I don't know how to trick a lockdown. Let's just see if this works. Where the hell are you guys? Help me. Target lockdown. Oh, shit. Wait, what? How'd they see me? Shit, I need to get to the roof somehow. Or roof first. Can I even trick a lockdown? Should allow you to move more freely. I'm in. Maybe I should clear the roof out. That works. Stop looking. Let me clear the roof off just so I can walk around here. Just two guys. Unless they're going down. Nope, they're just standing there. Okay. Did they hear that? Yeah, okay, that works. Uh, is it in this room? Oh, yep. Okay. Uh, since I can get her twice here. Hello. Well done, 47. Now get off the property. Okay, and yeah, now the poison. <laughs> I'm just so nervous now about loading. Lethal. Target down. Ah, Target two for one. Now get off the property. Okay. Uh. So I did that one. Now, um, wait for her to Getting caught on tape move along to a room. Need. I'm in. Is there any other fun ones I could do while I wait? Uh, katana with the wetsuit. I mean, that's not that hard. Explosion. Yeah. Shotgun. Aquarium. Scissors. I didn't pick them up. I want to do that one, that one, and why not these ones? 
I can do most of those pretty close by to each other. Fucking squeak toy. What can I do with this? Why do I have this? Looking good. Okay, I think all I need to poison is that. Is this hidden from the guy? Do I not have any blunt objects? Please fall down. <laughs> so is it like you have one or two choices for the honey or sugar? Do I need that for anything? Any of the challenges I want to do? Uh, through the bed. Dose poison. Kitchen knife. I don't have a kitchen knife. Gotta go grab that. Uh, shurikens. What else did I want to do? The shower. No. I'll save here in case. I don't think I can get to the kitchen knife. Can I climb that? Oh, you could. It's up to the rooftop helipad where your boss, Rupert Pierce, is taking his morning job. There's the knife. You will inform his guards that you are delivering an urgent message. Maybe they'll walk away for a second. Close to the edge and toss him off the building. Hey, you want green tea or mango? What do you think? You heard me, Mr. Donovan. The life green tea. Of your for the life of your wife and daughters. Shouldn't Oop. be much of a choice, even for a workaholic. Do you understand me? Very good. Now go. If I don't hear sirens from downtown London in five minutes, your family suffers the consequences. Best of luck, Mr. Donovan. We thank you for your sacrifice. Is it done? Good as. And Mr. Donovan's wife and children? The guys will let them go at the stroke of midnight, unless I say otherwise. Boss is ordered. Maybe okay, upstairs. She gets about collateral damage. That was close. Okay, now I got everything I need. Unbelievable. I'm gonna turn in. You come in or what? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> I thought that was a blood stain. I was like, oh shit. Okay, yeah, uh, kill her through the roof while she's sleeping, smother with the pillow. While he's in the shower. Uh, poison his drink and then kill him while he's in the shower. I 
don't know when he'll drink. Probably should close the blinds. Oh, the dog. I'm staying here too, you know. At least you could do is teach it my name. Or maybe you don't expect to keep me around long enough to bother, is that it? I, uh, didn't know it was that important to you, Orson. What can I say? My bad. I've been using the safe house for years. Right, you and Sean. I bet the house knew his name. Okay, I guess I could change it into... Well, Special Anna guest. And Sean too. Oh. Second Sean. That has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Or how about just or Sean come back, Sean. <laughs> you Ooh. know what I'll think of some more while I go and brush my teeth. Fine. I'm gonna hit the shower. You do that, Orson. Alright, I guess he drinks after. Yeah, scarred up body. What happened to you, man? Wait, wouldn't he see me kill her? Shipping out again? No, oh, it's fogging up. Say what? I said, when are you shipping out again? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm supposed to. She can't see me in the mirror either. In Riga, like five days from now. I got no idea what the mission is or who my teammates are. But... Target down. Well done, 47. Now get off the property. Hey, you, no, no! Did that count? Okay. <laughs> Orson Bates. That was a nice toothbrush. It's still going. <laughs> okay, let me get the bed kills and then his poison. This is the first target I've had where it's one person. Throughout all of Hitman 1 and then, uh, I don't know about, I don't remember three. Hmm, which one? Is there an easy way to the roof from here? You know the boss. Belt and suspenders kind of guy. I don't. Neither do you. That's kind of my, uh, that's kind of my point. Call me old fashioned, but like I say, uh... Yeah, I should be able to use that. You can't? Really? Well, I guess I gotta go through the stairs. I don't even know who the other cells are. Compartmentalization is key. Yeah, I guess. Dana. <laughs> Dana. That's Sean, dude. And now we wait. Why did you shower in your underwear? I get you know dick and stuff, but come on. In downtown London, a man has allegedly plummeted to his death from the headquarters of Dynasty Global, the world's largest internet retailer. While the identity is unconfirmed, the fuck is he doing? Several oh, setups. Tweets claim that the deceased is none other than Rupert Pierce, <coughs> Dynasty's founder Who's that? and CEO. We will keep you updated as this story develops. I am Pam Kingsley, GNN News. Well, that's that. Smoke on the balcony? Yeah, sure. How about a scotch? No, I just brush my teeth. Oh, well, suit yourself. I'm having one before bed then. 
Good for the blood flow. It's gonna be your last one ever. Fucking Olsen or Sean too. It's a good thing I close the blinds because you'll probably see his body flop over. What, what, what do I have a light? That reminds me. I need you to do something for me. Okay. Is he not going to drink? Just a cakewalk, really. I just need you and the boys to pick up a shipment in Brussels three days from now. Do you, how do I turn the light off? Was it always on? Huh. Oh my god. Who are you? Who's that? Private eye guard? This is really awkward. I'm just waiting for two people to go to bed. <laughs> Come and get a drink. You stay out there. Hey, any sign of Mac? No, man. One of the lads found a bunch of dead sheep down the road. Mac is drunk tonight. It's about time, man. Hell yeah. Well, as long as he's happy. Uh. Shit. Oh, <laughs> Fuck. That was a long time ago. Did it autosave recently? Uh. I don't know if I'll have enough time to hide his body. I'll just knock him out. With a folding knife. <laughs> When he comes in, folding knife, hiding behind the couch. No, no, I get it. Everyone's expendable. But some are more expendable than others. Got it? I wouldn't put it on a t shirt, but well, yeah. In a nutshell. Fine. I'll do it. I know you can hold your own in all that, but I want you to be safe. Uh please hurry up. <laughs> Throw the cigarette away. Hey, any sign of Mac? No, man. One of the lads found a bunch of dead sheep down there. Go, go, go. I bet that's Max. Can you grab him for me? Hey. Nice try. Hot style Damn it. Right. I have to really load back all the way to there. Before I put the poison in. Oh, wait, no. Right now, I think that's it. Okay, YouTube, I'm going to pause the video so you can just skip right there. Okay. It's a few minutes later. The drink is unpoisoned. They should be going to sleep soon. I just have two more objectives I want to do. Smother her and then shoot her through the roof. Also, I found out he put his watch down over there and you can either pick it up or set the alarm. I don't know, that's like a decoy for something. No need. I'm dog tired. The second I close my eyes, I'll be dead to the world. Night second, Sean. Ooh. Also, I don't know when I can come out. How fast do they fall asleep? Do those go away? She's still moving around. Go to sleep, Alma. I'm safe just in case. Smother. 
Good thing she's not like hitting Sean too. Target down. Well done, 47. Now get off the property. Can I smother him? Wake up and find her body. That guy's a deep sleeper. Holy shit. Is he even sleeping? Hang on. His eyes are faintly open. Nighty night. Oh! <laughs> okay. Last one. Shoot her through the roof. I'm taking the watch. Uh, how do I get up there? These people are so lucky they have guards that are staying up this late for them when they're asleep. What is this? Oh, corn. I got to poison them while they're in the bathroom. Can I poison them while they're sleeping? <laughs> Goodbye, Alma. It down. Well done, 47. Now get off the property. That was actually I'm surprised I was so silent. He can wake up to her body. Okay. How do I leave? Can I go down this? Nope. Uh, yeah, I'll leave. I was gonna say, should I just exit and quit, but now. Gotta set off the fireworks and then get in my boat. Eh, all that took about a little over an hour. Not bad. Still more stuff here for me to do, but I'll do that another day. I wonder if there's another way you can uh, distract them. Probably just kill all the of them. have discovered your boat, forty-seven. They're on high alert, combing the beach for intruders. Proceed with caution. Fireworks. Are they even fireworks? They look like flares. Oh, they found the body. I guess he woke up. <laughs> Alright, and leaving. Okay, all done in... What was it called? Hawks Bay? Okay. Explosive. Pickup. Stash. Beach. Cool. Alright, on to the next one. The finish line. Where does this take place? Good afternoon, 47. Miami! Nation is the annual Global Innovation Motor Race in Miami, Florida. Ooh, motor After race. analyzing the data from Maynard's computer, the case is clear. The Providence defectors are Robert and Sierra Knox, head of robotics developer Kronstadt Industries. A visionary inventor and technological innovator, Robert Knox has spearheaded Kronstadt Industries to the bleeding edge of technological development. 
His equally brilliant daughter, Sierra, is not only a financial wizard, but also a fiercely competitive race car driver with a fiery temper to match. Kronstadt oh, she was Warp's 30 under 30. popularity with global consumers. However, few are aware that the company is also one of the world's leading suppliers of next-gen military tech. Last year, uh, despite a bomb, Jin Po employed prototype Kronstadt drones against peaceful civilian protesters in the now infamous Tungyan Valley incident. And although it has yet to be proven, there is little doubt that the Noxes personally brokered the deal, making them complicit in a war crime. It is unclear why the Noxes would betray their masters, but likely the fear of being next put on the Shadow Client's hit list has pressured them to cut a deal with the enemy. Undoubtedly, with Kronstadt Industries on their side, the militia will increase their attacks tenfold. And so our contract obligates us to retire Robert and Sierra Knox and contain the damage they may inflict on Providence. I will leave you to prepare. Okay. You have to be able to kill one of them with the race cars. Probably the sister. Okay. Well, oh, that guy got. How'd he get burned up? What, can't bring anything? Okay, uh, well, just in case, I'll bring my pistol. Probably a silenced one. Sure. Also, first round, I'm not gonna be looking for, like, looking up stuff. I'm just gonna do a blind run. Welcome to Miami, 47. The innovation race is on its last day and it is down to the wire. Thousands there are those of fans are gathered for the final laps of this unexpectedly close race. Sierra Knox is expertly piloting her red Kronstadt car. Her father, Robert Knox, roams oh, it's father daughter. the building where Kronstadt is showcasing its new prototype car. The Kronstadt RK Mark III has seen fierce competition from the Chinese Kowoon Heavy Industries' new racer. Moses Lee, Can I become that guy? Kowoon, has taken a dominant lead and looks invincible. Sierra Knox will need to risk it all if she wants to win for the third year in a row. The stakes are as high as they can get. Okay, so you can probably either sabotage her car or another car to kill her. Or probably sabotage the racetrack. Is the race going on while I'm here? Like, is it going on now or are they still getting prepped? <laughs> is that a mascot? <laughs> 48 places? Bag check, I don't have the bags. Haha, <laughs> I don't have anything, idiot. My gun's already inside. <laughs> Wait. Blue. S oh, I thought it was blue speeds. Blue seed. Photo taken. Move, 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 move. I want my photo taken. Move. Hi. Right. Can I get my photo taken? Yes. Yes, please. Get my good side. Okay, am I done? Cool. Photo of a flamingo? What? A Polaroid picture of one of the race mascots dressed as a flamingo. I just saw him. Where'd he go? There he is! Am I VIP? You got an invitation there, sir? No. Restricted area. Remember, folks, that Eat the truckers. Jitter? Fitter? 
Oh, it's the blue seed guy. God, I want to press... I want to press that so bad so I can look at what's around me. I also really want to do a blind run. Man, no one's coming over here. Okay, at an event like this, these are not bad prices. 20 bucks for a t-shirt? There were just plain shirts that cost more than that. And you're at a... You're at a race. Those are amazing prices. Uh... Where's... Oh, so she's already racing. Alright, I'll sell area. Sweet. Oh, I thought I could push him onto the track. I don't think I can dump him either. Or at least onto the track. I'm just looking for a bin around here. Did anyone notice if I dump him there? I don't think anyone can walk over here. Could they? Let's hope not. See that red car, 47? Hmm? That's the Kronstadt race car with Sierra Knox behind the wheel. How do you take out a moving target like that? <laughs> There's gotta be a challenge to shoot her. That sounds awesome. Oh, this is trespassing? Really? Elevator shaft. Why is this trespassing? Where am I? Well, I got the... Am I down here? I was gonna say, I got the pass club. Or club pass. So I could probably go back through that way as just a pedestrian. Can I go on the track? Oh man. <laughs> just like walk out there. Hello. Oh, I think my gun's down here. <gasps> There's the flamingo. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes. It's the biggest gun ever. Oh, he is a mission story? Wait, he's not the real mascot? I think I lost him in the scuffle, but the real mascot is still over there. If I don't get them, I've got no evidence. That guy? I buy money. I don't know. I, I need to figure something out. Talk soon. A disgruntled Kronstadt employee has acquired some dirt on Sierra Knox and intends on blackmailing her. Disguised as one of the racing mascots, he plans to meet Sierra by the old motel. Well... I always did feel that pink was your color, 47. I don't feel that way. Find the... Find his keys. Hey, hey. Can you do me a favor? Yo, what's up? Go check if my keys are over there. The guy's crazy and I don't dare go over there, but you look pretty tough. Please. Fair. 
found it. <laughs> uh, you, should I use it? Go away, what's the mission objective? Alright, you know what? Uh, how do I... Is there a way to do this? Uh, where's the... Is it journal? Oh, here it is. I want to turn this on to minimal. Because I don't want to know where stuff is exactly. Hey, yo, did you find some keys over there? Nope. Wait, right, can I give them to him? I'll be back in a minute. Oh, so just gonna ignore them? <laughs> He's still waiting. Find the documents. A pile of whatever documents that look like they might be useful to investigate a journalist or a blackmailer. Oh, to an investigative journalist or a blackmailer. A note attached to the documents reads Sierra Knox after the race next hotel, bring documents, be the flamingo. All right, now I become the mascot. Okay, man, don't worry. Got your keys. Come with me. Ooh, he had something else on him. Shit, where can I hide him? I don't know if these people would see me. Parking ticket. Oh. That just to tell you where it is. Maybe I'll try for this way, just hiding behind a car. Oh, there's a bin right there. Oh, that's awesome. Ah, oh, please look the other way, buddy. Maybe he doesn't even notice? Uh, uh, okay. I'm the mascot now. Locate the meeting area and play the part. The race is entering its final lap, 47. Ooh. Okay, gotta hurry up, I guess. Oh crap, this actually sucks now. <laughs> I don't know where to go. Uh, it gave me that hint of like, what it looks like where to go. Uh... What did it say in the no on the note? Next to hotel. Which one's the hotel? How are you, sir? Uh, boy. I am absolutely going the wrong way. 47, the race is over. Sierra will be coming off the track any time now. So, oh, that's Ooh. it, folks. Oh, blend in. Just killed it here in Miami. That is one more victory for the Chinese race team. Is it all the way over there? Oh shit. Like 
Yeah, she's getting out and getting ready. The things 47 goes through to get his job done. Ah, oh, fuck. Is there a way around? Nope, I gotta go all the way down there. Shit. Alright, if it eventually says, like, mission lost, I'll load back. Uh, she's coming this way. Yeah, there she is. Have I been here? You're gonna tell me, like, that's whatever her name is. Or you probably told me when, uh... She was in the race car. Oh, who won? Oh, you lost. Eat shit. Okay. Where am I meeting you, Sierra? Around this way? God damn it. Am I an employee? <laughs> Can I come up here? Excuse me, sir. Seems like you're not clear. Sorry. There's another flamingo. The meeting here was somewhere outside. Where is she going? Oh, you don't care about me, do you? Nope. Alright, I'm just gonna go try and look. Is that the hotel? Is it? Oh. Nice outfit. Really brings out your eyes. Miss Knox informed me you'd be here. She asked to make sure you brought the documents. So, did you bring the documents? I have the papers right here. Excellent. Come on in. Have a seat or something. I'll let Miss Knox know you're here. <laughs> it's about time. Good, forty-seven. Now, let's yes, see where this no. meeting is headed. There's a guy here hey. wearing a mask on outfit. Hello. So, uh, you here for a job application or what? Something like that. Nice. <laughs> if you don't mind me saying so, your particular choice of attire is maybe a little, I don't know, off? For a job interview, I mean. Nice suit. Is that the cleaner? And you couldn't find anything else to wear. Correct. You must lead a very interesting life, my friend. You have no idea. Hey, Flamingo guy. This Knox is on our way. <laughs> Just such yeah, weird guards. Okay. Yeah, she's coming. Well, so far he's having way more interactions with people than usual. Uh, 
Yeah, look at those giant eyes on this flamingo suit. Then look at his face on the inside. <laughs> he looks so depressed. Yeah, come on, Nox. I know how much, I know how bad you want this document. Ooh, number two. Sucks to be you, nerd. So. Oh, come on. Mister. Hmm. I never did catch your name. Names Reaper. For friends. Very well. Straight to the point in all business. Walk with me. Where are we going? Don't worry. Hello there. What am I gonna do? Kill you in broad daylight. I just want a bit of privacy here. Not so you can kill me in dark light? Like this in front of an audience. Good idea. So just to get this straight, you claimed in your email to have somehow found internal reports that show Kronstadt's involvement in the Tongan Valley Massacre. Sounds about right. Let's be clear. You and I are having this meeting because my father doesn't need to know about this. It's just another undesired distraction. I don't care if the information is true or false. I don't care if it mentions moving money from the Nexus Project into Tongan Valley Damage Control, as you claimed in your correspondence. I do care about protecting my father, which is why you and I are now here. I see. Leave me alone for a few minutes, guys. Sure thing, Miss Knox. Why did you lay the tarp uh, out? You need us? Just call. We're right around the corner. Just in case I fuck it up. So here's the deal. You hand over the documents and leave, and that's the end of it. And you will do that now. So enjoy the rest of your time here in wonderful sunny life. Okay. You're heading out to grab a bite. Don't forget to check out your So here are the two possible outcomes of this meeting. One, you will leave this place and this country for good, and that will be the end of it. Everyone lives happily ever after. Two, you don't choose option one. You know, I really thought that would push you down. Nah, I kind of want to push her. I told you I'd fuck it up. the deal you hand over the documents and leave and that's the end of it and you will do that now so here are the two possible outcomes of this meeting one you will leave this place and this country for good and that will be the end of it everyone lives happily ever after two you don't choose option one someone dies right here right now which do you prefer? Not much of a choice, is it? No. <laughs> Target down. Next up, Robert Knox. These people just set themselves up for failure. How do I get down there? Can I get can I go down there? Yeah. Oh, there's a staircase over here. I think this guy's by himself. I kinda want your suit. So You can go with her, though. Can I use that? Oh, baseball bat. Are there are 29 suits here. I really need the lockpick here. How would it get down there? Oh, you can. I was looking at this one. Okay. Um. Well, one down. Next time I'll try and find out how to kill her while she's in the race car. Uh, option, or down the second guy. Where even is he? He's all the way over there. Let me walk around and see if anyone has any mission stories. I feel like I passed by one. I don't remember if it... I was talking about Sierra, so it was probably about her. God damn it. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the fun is not 
If I'm security, I'm allowed anywhere, right? Might give me some interesting way to kill this guy. Where is he? Up there? Oh, frontline seats. Nice. Oh, can I go up there? That's one of the Kronstadt mechanics, but he's away from the pit. I wonder what he's up to. Oh. Wait, who are you talking about? This guy? your problems, all right? I made it clear this morning that if things didn't change, I'd be off the Kronstadt team. Half an hour later, I have to listen to Knox berate my skills as a mechanic because the roll cage interferes with the radio signals from Sierra's suit. No more. I'm done. Yes, I know you're a man short now. And no, I don't give a rat's ass about it. I tell you what, you double my salary for the entire week, and I'll come back and carry Sierra decides to use that last pit stop. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, if you decide otherwise, I'll be down by the paddock. Best of luck, Grace. Hmm. That's probably a clue about, uh, way to kill her while inside the thing. You might have better access. Uh, what even is this place? Nope. Lethal syringe? That was a weird sound. What's your costume? Medic. I just want to cross it off my list. Okay, in you go. Alright, let me try and get up to Robert and see if like there's any mission stories around him. Where is he? Oh, he is over there. How do I get over there? Do I have to go underneath? There's a bridge over there. Is that the only way over? Probably. I'm a mechanic. Can I just walk out on the field? It's another flamingo. Oh, you got a green elf or a green shirt on. What? Well, how do you know me? All right, this is where I was earlier. I like how the race is still going on, even though Knox stopped racing. Okay, maybe I want one of these outfits. Can I lure? Yeah, I could definitely lure him in. Okay. Free key. Not the fake! <laughs> Not the f uh, he's an engineer. Okay. Can I take the glasses? Yes. Spectators at the edge of their seats, 
Okay, anyone got any mission stories for me? You can assume there's something in this area. I realize this may sound trivial, but the Fountain View soda dispenser has been on the fritz since we moved in. I can't work without my energy drinks, and I have been forced to bring my own. Oh, no. Well, yes, that's right. They fixed it today, but... And here's the problem, you see. Mr. Knox and his entourage of gun-wielding bodyguards managed to empty the machine in one hour. I was thrilled to receive the email telling me the machines were back in order, but to come in and discover how Knox and his goons have been seemingly bathing in Fountain View all morning. <laughs> well, let me tell you, the disappointment is substantial. Not a matter for HR. Uh, how so? <laughs> Every job has some guy like that. So, I'm hearing rumors on the corporate grapevine. Apparently, it's not. Shock. Okay. Android arm. Can I put it in my pocket? Nope. Put it back. Close enough. Oh, I can peep. I'm a peeper. Hmm, hang on, 47. Oh, here we go. Robert Knox's calendar shows a meeting with a Ted Mendez, a defense funding consultant with the U.S. military. Must be related to that robot. Maybe you can find Mendez somewhere. Ted Mendez, a defense funding consultant with the U.S. military, is scheduled for a private demonstration of a new Kronstadt robotics project. Sounds like the way to get up close and personal with Robert Knox. Ted Mendez, a defense funding consultant with the U.S. military. Do I see his face? Is scheduled for a private demonstration of a new Kronstadt robotics project. Sounds like a way to get up close and personal with Robert Knox, 47. Or one of those Ted no qualms about taking the blame for the massacre. Still, makes you wonder. Mm, sure does. I could take them all out. That guy looks like a Ted. I'm here, possibly Ted. No, I can't be him. Not the right guy. What does that say? <laughs> what? What's wrong? What's wrong with the camera? Oh, it's because he was crouched. Okay. This guy wasn't Ted, he was the... He was the loser. Oh, shit! You might see the body. I should move it, but I'll just keep it there. Who is Ted Mendez? Extremely advanced facial recognition system capable of complex gene texture analysis. Alright, well good news, he doesn't come this way. Alright, throw this at the guard, see if that guy's Ted. If not, I'll have the whole room to myself. You're just a researcher. Alright, I'll get you all back there. How are you supposed to know who Ted Mendez is without the thing telling you this is Ted Mendez?
You drop anything? No. Nope, not that one. Uh, did I get any intel on a Ted Mendez? No. It's gotta be somewhere in this area, right? Are you Ted Mendez? say this robot is pretty impressive spec wise it's miles above anything i've seen pitched before not even the chinese have anything as promising i don't know i think it's a little too ambitious i mean i, I understand the need to replace certain types of workers with robots but this seems like he's effectively trying to replace everything that's what i love the most how's this for a pitch we at kronstad love humanity but let's face it flesh is old animals Uh, where am I supposed to find this guy? What do I have three screwdrivers? It's gotta be some in the, somewhere in the area. Probably have some guards around him. You're just a guard. Maybe one of these guys? No human Scissors. You just seem like more researchers. I mean, we to find out. Come on, you copy? I think something is horribly wrong. This guy is already... Come on, you already wearing. I think we got a psycho on the loose. It's very tempting just to pull it back up. <laughs> Maybe he's on the floor above? I don't know. Sure. You're wearing a fancy suit. Haven't seen your face before. Yeah. Got signed on for this event last week. Guess they've generally beefed up security, huh? Just met a couple of ex cicada buddies. Well, apparently there's a splinter group of nut jobs running around killing off CEOs all over the world. My agent told me. Who are you? Unique suit. I can't. I have so many things I need to fix before this day is over. There's just no way. Collecting yeah. pictures of celebrity entrepreneurs now, 47? Hmm. You remember I told what are you thinking? I don't know. I'm literally... Lord of Man, doing everything I can to make sure they don't meet. I mean, fine, her world class. Okay, this drives her precious cars and acts like a rebellious teenager. She's almost thirty. Are you Ted Mendez? No, he's just a fucking dude. Whoever finds him can wake him up. We 
need to double check. Knox wants a report by the end of the day. Everybody look stable. Let me double check. Bunch of scientists in here. Okay, I'm turning it back on just for this. Oh, he's so far away. How would you know he's all the way over there without... Where is he? He's at the front of the conference room? Where am I going? What? What? Wait, wh where am I going? Just take the stairs. I'm coming, Mendez. It's time for me to become you. How was I supposed to know this guy was Ted Mendez all the way out here? That is Ted Mendez, one of the country's most influential military grade money men. This must be connected to Kronstadt. Bill, it's Ted here. Just returning your call before heading over to the expo building to meet Knox for the new combat android presentation. It's because I could probably knock out this guy and this guy, but then that guy came. This guy's a genius, and you know what they're like. Desperately lacking any discipline or respect for other people. Last time I tried to have a meeting with him, he had me sitting in a room for four hours before canceling. I'll head up when I feel like it. I just want to do this quick. Maybe this will work. Maybe it won't. All right, I'll call you after the break. Hey, Doc, how's research going? Not very talkative. Okay. What the hell are you doing? That's gonna hurt me. Chill out. You could kill someone like that. Oh, I can't dump him. Oh, I could. Okay. Executive floor. Yeah, fuck it. I'm just going to keep it on. Although, if I probably came in, they would probably be like, uh, Ted Mendez here to see blah, blah, blah. Mr. Mendez, good to see you, sir. The demonstration is scheduled to take place on the upper floors. Please feel free to use the stairs right over there. Thank you. That's right. People. Just Ted Mendez here. Is this illegal? It is. They're probably like, Ted Mendez, why do you have a gun with a soda can on it? Mr. Mendez? Right this way, sir. They instruct you a lot more this way. Than this one. Uh no one's here. E, all the bodies are still back there, huh? <laughs> How can I kill him in here? It's a live demonstration, right? Oh, that's weird. Ah, Ted, good to finally see you. Guess traffic was rough. Ah, never mind. Let me show you everything. I'm gonna say something provocative now, Ted. War is going out of fashion. It's dirty. It's just plain bad PR. Oh, is it just us in here? Exchange their children and loved ones for flags and medals anymore. The glory is God, Ted. Oh, I picked up his picture. Kronstadt has a solution for that. Imagine this: android infiltrators operating in the field, disguised and fully embedded, ready to strike at a moment's notice. Indestructible robotic operators who can infiltrate the deepest sanctuary of any adversary. Striking an unseen fatal blow. A surgical tool for a blunt world. Imagine 
an army of them, fully equipped android medics seeking out wounded servicemen and in Yeah, I could. <laughs> Wait, would I count as a Florida man? He kind of looked like me. Bringing them to safety or patching them up. I know I just saved, but. Then and there. I just want to see if this would work. Android pilots delivering payloads deep inside enemy territory with uncanny scanning and minimal collateral damage. No. All right, Mendez, it's very straightforward. Let me show you. I just pick any of the pictures on the desk, then I use the scanner to upload the biometric data. And Palace will do the rest. Target acquired. WD. Obviously, the final system won't rely on you manually feeding it biometric data. This is still a prototype. This I want to try. This is a pivotal moment in modern conflict solution, Ted. Palace is entirely foolproof. All you need is to pick a photo from the table and scan it just like I showed you. It's perfectly safe. Go ahead. Make my day. Target acquired. Dummy C. Quickly, reset, reset. Uh, Robert Knox. Go, go, go. I know. Robert Knox. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 oh. Well done, 47. Head for an exit, and we'll speak again soon. Good job, robot. Dude, what just happened? Oh, did it get a headshot too? Brutal. Okay. Uh, is there only one exit? No, nope, no, nope, there's another one. There's one right there. I am Ted Mendez. I can go anywhere. Right. Apparently not. I'll just take your outfit. How do I get up there? Huh. Can I climb over? <laughs> Really? You can't climb over anywhere? Anyhow? Well, fuck me then. Guess I'll go that way. How do I get down? I can't go that way. Excuse me, people. Coming through. Coming through. Security. I didn't even use my silence gun at all. There's no security guards anywhere. It's down here. Are you the Florida man? Now you're different. Ooh. A didgeridoo. The fuck you just say? <laughs> Alright, time to leave.
Run, people, run. Don't worry, I'll just get unconscious. Oh, shit. Go, go. Uh-oh. <laughs> that was close. I'm taking the didgeridoo. Yeah, perfectly at two hours. Oh, damage control. Complete the finish line. Yeah, there's like three times as much stuff here as the uh, night call. Okay. Sniper. Starting location. Starting location tool. Oh, now I can go all low out? Why couldn't I before? Stash, stash. I got a fish. <laughs> Why? Why a fish? <laughs> What is that? Montreal. We're bleeding operatives. Panic is spreading, and now we are axing our own. Knox was a traitor. He would have caused incalculable damage. And he won't be the last. This is exactly what the enemy wants. We oh, were these the, the partners symptoms, I end up killing? The symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. I can handle this Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. And, and you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. And once we don't, <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get I think there. those two guys were in Dubai. We are shadow boxing. We need to and that lady was in a uh, Dartmoor. I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero, first of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to the plane. Grasping at straws. Ray is a mercenary, a veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on, but before 89, nothing. No records of any kind. Oh, come on. CIA, KGB, plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. Lucas Gray simply does not exist. This guy's got the weirdest voice ever. If you're all quite done wetting yourselves with excitement, I couldn't give two shits where he came from. I only want to know one thing. How does he know about us? Central Europe. I swear to God. This hearts and flowers crap will get us both killed. Can't you see? Your so-called friend is working for them now. He's not the man you knew. This is his fight too, Olivia. Even if he doesn't realize it. Like it or not, 47 is our last and only lead on the partners. He needs to remember. He's coming for us. And unlike you, he won't hesitate. Just get me inside. Rico, I need a favor. Is in Russia? No, he's in Central Europe. Maybe that's where 47 was experimented on. Okay. Uh, we're going to go back. And do the other mission stories. Finally. Uh, bring me closer inside. Uh, what 
what I need. Uh, if I'm bringing the lock pick, I don't know what I need. Where's the fish? Is it not big enough? Okay, well, gun. There it is. Are these like fiber wire? And the lock pick. And now I'll just bring poison just in case. We'll never know what else to bring. Okay. How many more mission stories are there? Two, three, four, five. Okay. Let's uh, go down the list then. Perfect machine. Oh, it's so far. <laughs> I spawned on the wrong side. Are there any that's closer? That's even farther. <laughs> 200 meters. The munchies. Okay, 90. This is the worst spawn ever. Okay, we'll go with that one. Can I even come in here? Hi. Oh, it's like an exhibit. Robert Knox has a race car on display in the expo building. The show staff is under strict instructions to summon him at any sign of malfunction. Apparently, Knox trusts no one to fix his car but him. Hmm. Perhaps it's time to poke around under the hood, 47. They do say one should never mess with another man's wheels. Okay. Sabotage the engine. The fuck are you? Oh, I'm almost feeling a bit of existential dread here. Super fuel? Oh, a journalist. I'm afraid my response protocols have not been set up properly for an interview at this time. Hi. Please enjoy the rest of your day. Look into my eyes. What do you know, robot? Expanding on the consumer. How do I sabotage? I just get a security outfit. Uh, I need a screwdriver. I had about three of them the last time. Oh shit! <laughs> I saw this fucking man up. Hey, can I come back here? How do I go around? Hey, can I come this way? He doesn't care. Now take your costume. All right, screwdriver. Wrench, anything else? I already did the blind one. What else can I take? Nothing. Then I gotta be a engineer. 
Oh, was it the same guy I knocked out last time? I know it's one of these guys. I was thinking of the mechanic. Grace Marshall? You shouldn't have looked, buddy. What are you gonna do with that? Your friend can stay out there, I don't really care. You go in the box. You know, take this. Sabotage the engine. I wonder if you can get that guy or give that guy the energy drink who was bitching. They had the aquarium. Okay, here we go. Good. I dare say this should get Nox's undivided attention. How would this kill him? Huh. Why's the engine on? Let's just try to get this started again. Well, I'm good. confused how this Gets him into a kill opportunity. Is there like something back here I can use? Huh. Well, he's on his way. Oh, he's fucking booking it. <laughs> Can I go underneath? Oh, he found it. Knox like, fuck that guy. What, what happened to my car? How am I going to do this? It shouldn't behave like this at all. Try the engine, Smith. Smith? Oh. Wait, why do you call me Smith? How would messing with the car, you call me. You hear me? How could that have killed him? Maybe mention that it's bulletproof. Well, that's a bit of sci-fi story. Knox had the wide range eventually replacing standard troops with modern weapons. As far as I'm aware, there's there's no AI. Okay, okay. Well, um, possible for me to get a few pictures of Can I do it again? I don't know how this would kill him. Oh. Octane booster? Why is the engine on? Where would I find that? There's the aquarium. Okay, just because I want to know. I want to see how it plays out. I'm just going to look up where the octane booster is.
Uh, I think over here. I went the wrong way. I don't know if he's coming. Oh yeah, he's coming back. Uh, might not have enough time. Where is it? There it is. Hurry up. Oh. I swear to God, if someone that was smooth. Heads will roll. I need you to get in the car. Don't touch anything until this is very strange. It shouldn't behave like this at all. Try the engine, Smith. Okay. All right, try it now. This should work. Ah, here we are. Just a loose wire back there. Let me just reattach it. Good. Hit it, Smith. Oh, oh no! Oh! Robert knocks down. Oh, oh. Now for the heir to the Kronstadt Damn! Empire. That was a big boost. Come in. Come in. You there? Okay. How do I kill Sir Serana? Um Sure, that's close. Is this just is this getting her to win and then killing her? It's weird they didn't have the option for the oh. They didn't have the octane booster uh like tip. Put you in the box. Am I allowed here? Nope. I'm gonna run over and play around with the pyrotechnics for the podium ceremony. What? No, you can't fool around with them. We didn't get the replacement pressure valve, so I literally duct taped everything together just now. Okay, vaping. You could fry everyone on stage if the pressure gets too high. But Runner asked me to test it. If he asks, just tell him I've. What is this guy's control. voice? Whatever you do, don't touch the setup. Okay, gotcha. Maxwell Rutter, the race chief coordinator, is worried that the powerful new pyrotechnic system connected to the victory podium is not exactly tamper proof. Sabotaging it could have devastating consequences. Well, what are you waiting for? All right, disqualify Moses Lee. How do you do this? How do you even get her to win? Get Moses Lee out? Is that like her only competition? I'm gonna need you to leave, buddy. Oh, I can disqualify either of them. I am good at my job. Oh, see, you just you gotta keep your cool on this track. It doesn't matter how strong oh. your car is. There's always gonna be someone. Moses Lee, you're out of here. The race is over. Sierra will be coming off the track any time now. Sabotage the gas supply. Get the fuck out of here, Moses. Uh, is it on the outside? Yeah. I like your thinking, 47. With the safety off, someone could make the podium pyrotechnics fire up. Rather explosively. Uh, do I need to do this one too?
Do I, have, I probably have to wait until she's up there, right? Where's the podium? Right up here? God, do I have to really wait for her to come all the way over here? Can I get the cup? Can I can I take it for myself? Weird. Move. Security is tight today, sir. <laughs> Come on, man, I want the trophy. <laughs> she even coming? I think. Okay, I just want to see if this activates it. So I'll save. I don't know if I have to wait for her to come over or if she... Or if, like, when they blow it, it triggers. Where can I get a good view? Do I have to go back across? I think I probably get one from up here. Get a side angle. Oh my god, she's so far. They could have added more ways to get across the speedway. Other than just the one. Also, I would have I wouldn't have mind actually going onto the speed track. Is she coming over? She's taking an underground path? Look at that trophy. That could be mine. Ah, she's almost here. You're almost there, Sierra. Come on. So whack. Go accept your fucking award. Alright, in case I somehow fucked it up. Jeez. They probably gave you so much time so you can go to the other side and get a good angle. We got the perfect angle from right here. Uh, come on, Sierra. Finally. Who's that guy? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Maxwell Rutter. I am the senior race official here at the Miami Global Innovation.
Nation race. The race is now officially over, and it's time to hand out the trophy to the winner. And I think it is safe to say that this year's winner is a bit of a surprise winner to many of us. While they certainly weren't the favorites, they somehow managed to get to the top of the ladder over the course of these three days, which have seen a staggering number of accidents and related incidents. So, without further ado, I present to you Miss Sierra Knox of Team Trump. Come on up here, Miss Knox. The pipes are still vastly overkilled, so... This should absolutely blow the fucking stage up. Oh, shit. Oh, they're alive. I'm taking that trophy. This trophy's gonna be mine. Target lockdown? Who are you locking down? Oh my god, what happened? Is everyone okay? Give me it. It's mine. You can poison the trophy. Bit, 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 bit. It's a tough trophy. You all saw nothing. No, I'm not. Hiya! <laughs> okay. Let me replant it so I get closer to the other... Uh, stuff, I think. You could spawn as the mascot. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm still fine with that stuff. There's gotta be a way to kill her on the track. That's gotta be one of the missions. For newcomers to endurance racing, oh my god. This is from He's dancing! In that it's all about which team 47. Fuel and you get into your job too much. Get, time to get to work. Okay, uh... This has to be it. A perfect machine. Oh. How much time remaining? Don't worry, care about your problems. All right. I made it clear this morning that if things didn't change, I'd be off the Kronstadt team. Half an hour later, I have to listen to Knox berate my skills as a mechanic because the roll cage interferes with the radio signals from Sierra's suit. No more. I don't. Yes, I know you're a man short now. And no, I don't give a rat's ass about it. So on another. You double my salary for the entire week, and I'll come back in case Sierra decides to use that last pit stop. Mm -hmm. Well, if you decide otherwise, I'll be down by the paddock. Best of luck, Grace. One of the Kronstadt pit crew has. Oh wait, actually, one of the Kronstadt pit crew has unexpectedly quit the team in protest, and Grace Miller, the ball buster chief mechanic, is in cruel need of replacement. Why don't you step in and offer your services, 47? You're good with a wrench. Don't forget, this race is all about getting some miles under the hood. It's as much about the car's stamina and technology. You should have taken a job. You can't chuck that by a flamingo. Oh. Okay, tell me something. How does this whole costume fit in that huh <laughs> locate the pit garage it's on the other side how do I is this way over oh don't turn around okay Find a pneumatic wench? Uh... It's actually not telling me where it is, so I have to actually look for it. Oh, there's more Octane Booster.
Uh, where? Where the hell is this wrench? Fuck. Come in here, I fucking dare you. You want to live, don't you? Apparently, he does. Tim, it's great. You still at the race? I need a replacement right now. Packed up already. You. You're the junior slip wrench who got injured yesterday, right? Hello. I am. Great. This is your lucky day. Do well and there's a bonus in it. Got it? Got it. All right, everyone. Look alive and get to your stations. Sierra may come in for a last minute pit stop and I need you ready and able. It's weird those last uh, couple didn't pop up. You, rookie, get into position. Grab your preferred tool and be prepared. Today's your day to shine. Let's do this. Oh. Sugar. Okay, I'll just do the tire for now. What does the sugar do? Target down. Next up. Robert Knox. Good work, team. What happened? Good work, everybody. No one cares. Okay, we got uh, one more we can do. For now, at least. Okay, I'll run over. This is a big area. How do I... Okay, I can go... Left. Are they not stopping the race? Oh. Well, I'm glad he won, but also a driver got killed, and you're all still celebrating. How many drivers have actually died from that? There's been a good amount, right? Or there's been a few at least? Like it has happened? Well, I don't know if it's like this kind of racing or if it's like uh, NASCAR racing. There is a difference, right? So where would... What would sugar do to that car? Would it like cause it to just like go crazy? I just had to. It sucks. You can't like push anyone over the... This balcony. I wonder what that could be. Man. I'll take that back. <laughs> Uh, can I dump you? Yep. See ya. I actually have to go down. Oh, shit. What? Who's down there? Ooh, did not know there was someone all the way down there. Well. Oh, well. Accidents happen in the workplace. Why is this all the way in the other opposite corner of the map? I don't have a key card. Was there one over here somewhere?
Where did I see a key card before? Okay. What is this mission? Oh, it's good. It's real good. I mean, I get cravings if I don't come down here to eat once or twice per week. At one point, when oh, I was just the poison him. I ate lunch here every day. But Robert Knox, he's like a big shot billionaire. It's true. I was standing in line behind him yesterday. He talked about how he loves this place to death. It seems Robert Knox paid several visits to a Bayside area food stand yesterday. The vendor, known as Florida Man, sells extremely addictive food, so we should expect Knox to return. Maybe this is a way to catch Knox away from his office. Nah, I thought I was going to poison him. Okay. Just in case, should I grab my poison? Ah, uh, it's so far. Uh, wait, what? Oh, this is the food stand. Gone fish... Locate the Florida man. He's fishing. Is that him? Yeah, it's him. I didn't turn hints back on minimal, did I? Wow, it is not giving... It is really, like, challenging you now. How many hammers do I have? Uh, why me? Why me? Oh, Mr. O. <laughs> oh, Mr. O. Oh, shit. Hey, oh, become the Florida man. Okay. Find a rat poison. Yeah, probably better just to drown him. Yeah, uh, here we go. Open the food stand. I'm gonna go to work. See you guys. So how does he get alerted that it's open when it's just a regular food stand? Welcome, everybody. Good show, 47. Now stick around. Once the word spreads... Coconut balls. Alright, poison and drown him. Why not? Is he running? No, he doesn't care about this as much as he does his car. There's coconuts in that tree. Now we wait. Oh. Come on, Knox. I know how bad you want these balls. Sir? Coconut balls? Care to try something special? Hmm? Hey man, the sort it's open. I can see you. I know you like this place. No tip. Oh, come on, Knox. <laughs> I like how that's forty seven gets the attention. Psst. Coconut ball? <laughs> yes. Don't you see? I'm open. Knox, get down here. About time. 
47, Robert Knox is on the move. Robert Knox. If I'm not mistaken, he's heading down to the Bayside food stand selling coconut balls. Yes, he is. I want to poison him and drown him, so I'll wait. Ugh. Forty seven should really rock a tank top more often. See those guns. Also, what is this hat? Why does it just have a ponytail sticking out at the side, not even the back? Sir, would you like another ball? Oh, I could give him one. Get out of here. No ball for you. Oh, here you go. This guy was here before. Can I tempt you with a little snack? Hey, 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 hey. Thanks, I guess. You're welcome. It's me just for you. Okay, quickly, get out of here. He's coming. Drizzle some of the special sauce. Hello, Mr. Knox. I heard your daughter just died. To trigger a massive rush of you want to try something different? So, what's good? Everything's to die for, Mr. Knox. Excellent. Maybe one of these. He's doing really fine considering his daughter just died. And, like, it was on the TV. I'd expect you were watching it, but also... Why are your beard and hair different colors? Hey, hey, you're sick. Okay, you really should see a doctor. I will assist him. Oh, is he gonna puke over the water? That's my dog, if you can hear that. Both targets down. Well done, 47. Head for an exit, and we'll speak again soon. Okay. Uh, I'll just restart it. Just so I can do the last one quick. Can I do this in under three hours? I got 15 minutes. Time for a speed run. Wrong button. Last one. Intravious? I wonder if there is an actual clock somewhere. Probably shouldn't be here as a mascot. Yeah, I'm not welcome. <laughs> Oh, it's this one. I'm telling you, Miss Knox is going to be pissed. I did the pre-race checkup on her and... Well, let's just say she's got a bad case of intermittent explosive disorder. Poor Dr. Sorensen. First, he almost loses a patient to a seemingly harmless case of dehydration. Now, he has to deal with this guy suffering from urinary retention. For newcomers to endurance races, Not let me say. remind you that this Let's is just hope he doesn't somehow screw up the revitalization procedure on this Knox. I know you it's just a simple injection, but given his track record the these past few days... This is where well, you see the at least we know who's buying us beer tonight. So, it seems Sierra Knox has jumped on the revitalization bandwagon and is scheduled for an injection of some sort. The doctor who is supposed to help her with the procedure is preoccupied with a patient who is unable to urinate. Curious situation, 47. Maybe you can speed things up. You want me to help the guy urinate? Disguise yourself as a medic. So did Dr. Sorensen manage to get Sierra Knox? Oh, hello there. Can I go over this way? Oh, boy, I don't, don't think so. I'm sorry. 
I'll just be. Wasn't there one over here? <laughs> yeah, that guy didn't see me. I should get that guy's attention. Oh, that's fast. Very fast. Dog, are you good? Flamingo attack. I'm surprised that you don't have to go for this medic since he's a lot easier to get. Okay. Oh, I thought it was showing me this cabinet. I mean, okay. <laughs> wow, that actually works amazingly well. I'm trying to trick you by going all the way out over here. You guys must have been busy. Get rid of the current patient. Oh. Who are you? No, that's probably why you want me to get rid of him, because he's still here. I mean, I could just... I'm gonna have to ask you to get a move on. How did you not see them? Call Sierra from the intercom. Race needs to be over. Oh. Entering its final lap. Okay. Seven. You know, let's wait a little bit. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Where was it trying to have me go? In here? Yep, I'll take two. Why not? There's so many, there's so much lethal poison there. I see. Thank you. I think I gotta get rid of this guy actually. I don't have anything I could throw. Can I get his attention? Hey. Sierra Nock. 47, hey, the race is over. Like Sierra will be coming off the track any time now. Yo! Uh oh. Hey, let go! Hey! Sorry, everyone. Listen, if none of you came in, this wouldn't have happened. Are they cool? Alright, gotta quickly get everyone in here. Hopefully I don't need anyone. Okay, all good. Did I fuck it up? I probably fucked it up. I gotta get rid of this guy. Nine minutes for three hours. I could do this. you're both in here. Race has to end anyway, so I got some time. The race is entering its final lap, 47. 
Same disguise, right? Yeah. Mr. Reaper is getting everywhere. Just have to wait for the race to... F Did it finish? No, oh, those those are the display cars. How long is the final lap? Forty-seven. The race is over. Sierra will be coming off the track any time now. Oh, you do it. Attention, Sierra Knox. Your vitamin and rehydration session has been delayed. More information will follow. Or do I do it now? The race is over. I probably have to wait for her to get it out of the car. That's Robert Knox all the way up there. <laughs> there we go. Paging Miss Knox. Paging Miss Sierra Knox. The doctor will see you now. Excellent work, 47. Sierra Knox should be on her way to the emergency area. She is pissed. Oh, come on, Knox. Can I meet you halfway? Can I double dose her? Flamingo's escorting her. Blend in as any race event profession. Hello. Uh, okay, Miss Knox, let's get you in here. Hurry up. I got five minutes before three hours. Miss Knox, I'm ready for you. Let's do this. I assume back here. Nurse, I don't need you here. Ah, shit. All right, Doc. Where'd you want me? Miss Knox, come on in. Have a seat and relax. So, what's on the menu? Ew. Something that'll take care of this hideous pain in my neck, I hope. I promise, once I'm done, you won't feel a thing. Sit down. So what's in this thing anyway, Doc? Mostly. Leave floor. Just in case. Oh, extracts. Hemlock, belladonna, aconite. It's designed to be fast and efficient. Fast and efficient. I like that. Wait, wait belladonna? Isn't that poisonous? Yes. Should I be concerned? I'm not. Just relax. It'll be over soon. Wait for it. Hey, Doc. Hope we don't need you today, huh? Is it already working? Hey, you know what? I do feel refreshed. Thanks, Doc. My pleasure, Miss Knox. Did it work? Uh, oh. I, I don't feel... I don't feel well, Doctor. Don't worry. It'll be over soon, Miss Knox. Look into my eyes. <laughs> Target down. Next up, Robert Knox. Okay. One more for the road. <laughs> that works fast. Whoo! Oh. 
One guy out. Come here, everyone. Do I have any melee? Nope, I got these. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. I got her. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's gonna do it. All right. Got three minutes left. Uh, those are both great missions. What do we have next? Columbia. Santa Fortuna. Okay. I'm gonna leave this here, but before I do, there is one more thing I must do. And that is... Uh... Okay. That is... How do you do this? There we go. The Hitman 2 Mission Rankings. I did this for one. I threw three in there. And now i done one and three together. So now the Hitman 2 missions. I think it's pretty obvious. Since we only have two for now. At number one. My Amy. And at number two. Hawks. Shit. Hawks Bay. Yeah. Miami was a really good mission. Uh, Hawks Bay was a very simple tutorial mission. And uh, that's where I am going to leave it. We have six more missions to do. And then we will rank all of them together. And I got one minute before three hours. Yes! Uh, yeah, that's going to do it for me for this video. So thank you all for watching. Be sure over down below. Leave a like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.